Good morning, Year 6. It's Mr Tuckwell here with our very first mini online lesson. In our online sessions, I hope to cover some of the learning that we will miss out on before SATs. Please have a go at the activities and email one example of the learning you've completed during the week. This might be just a photo of your work or a comment about the learning you've completed. To start the lesson, as usual, we have a warm-up activity. I've had a go at creating a simple multiplying by 10 and 100 tasks that we should be able to complete. If you're struggling, just draw a place value chart on a scrap piece of paper as we have done on the whiteboards in class. And remember, when we're multiplying by 10, 100 and 1000, we move up the place value chart. For the last question, I've had a go just to show you. I've put 0 0.209 litres into the place value chart here. If we're multiplying by a thousand, we move three places up the place value chart. So the two digit here moves from the tens column to the ones, to the tens, and into the hundreds. Press pause on your video, have a go quickly at the questions, and we can check the answers on the next slide. Okay, hopefully you've completed the questions and these are the answers. Again, press pause so that you can take them off and you can see if you've made any mistakes where your errors might have been. Our first lesson today is quite simple. It's taken from Ask No Problem, so I'll try where possible to follow the pattern of the lesson that we might have had in class. We have the typical in-focus problem here. And our two characters have made statements about the circle that we've got here. First of all, we've got the statement, a circle is not a polygon. I'd like you to write down what you think a polygon might be, and a definition of it, and maybe some examples of polygons. And then I'd like you to look at the circle here. And what can you say about the diameter of a circle with radius r? Do you know what the diameter is? Could you write that down? Do you know what the radius is? And how do they compare in length? Press pause on your video. Have a go at those two questions. OK, so first we're going to have a look at Lulu's question here, who has said that a circle is not a polygon, and find out and remind ourselves what a polygon is. Well, a polygon is a flat two-dimensional 2D shape with straight sides that is fully closed. That is, all the sides are joined up. The sides must be straight. Polygons can have any number of sides. So here is an example of a polygon. It's got straight sides. The shape is fully closed. This isn't a polygon because it's got curved sides. And this shape isn't a polygon because the sides are not all joined up. A couple of years ago, in year six, when I asked this question, one of the children said that a polygon was a dead parrot. I can guarantee that a polygon is not a dead parrot. Charles then had the question about the radius and the diameter of a circle. Well, the diameter of a circle is the length of the line through the centre and touching two points on its edge. And the edge is called the circumference. The radius is the distance from the edge, the circumference, to the centre of the circle. It is half the circle's diameter. The diameter is two times the length of the radius. I would like you now to have a look at the question here. Question 1, A, B and C. We've been given the radius 4 centimetres, 2.5 centimetres and 2.7 centimetres. If the radius is this, what's the diameter of these circles going to be? Press pause on your video and spend a minute just answering that question. Because the diameter is twice the length of the radius, we can see that the diameter of this circle will be 8 centimetres because it's double 4 centimetres. The diameter of this circle will be 5 centimetres because it's double 2.5 centimetres. And diameter of circle C will be 5.4 centimetres because it's double 2.7 centimetres. Now have a go at the next question, which asks you to find the radius if you're given the diameter of six centimetres, five and a quarter centimetres, 
and 6.2 centimetres. I think in these questions, this one is probably the most challenging. Press pause on your uh, tablet or laptop and then have a go at the questions. The radius of this circle is going to be three centimetres because it's simply half of the diameter, which is six centimetres. Half of six is three. This one here is 2.125 centimetres, which is half of five and a quarter centimetres. Five and a quarter centimetres, remember, is the same as 5.25 and half of 0.25 will be 0 0.125. Or if you've kept or wanted to use a fraction, then it would be two and five eighths because double the two and five eighths will then make the ten eighths, which is the equivalent then to adding one and a quarter. And simply the last question C, half of 6.2 centimetres is 3.1 centimetres. Unfortunately, we couldn't do question one from the workbook because it involves printing out and then measuring using a ruler and it wouldn't work out uh, because of the scale of the circles. So instead I've given question two and three and then an extension task at the end. Have a go at these two questions and we'll go through the answers after you've had a go at them. Press pause on your tablet and then have a go at the questions. And here are the answers. This circle has a radius of 2 centimetres, this circle has a radius of 3.5 centimetres because it's half of the diameter. Whereas this circle has a diameter of 3 centimetres and this circle has a diameter of 7.8 centimetres. For your extension task and to finish today's lesson, I'd like you to find some objects around the home that are circular, draw around them and measure the diameter and radius. Is the radius half the length of the diameter? For tomorrow's lesson, I would like you to have a go at the formal methods practice sheet that we've used in class before, but I'd just like you to choose the addition questions. As always, you can choose the year six, the year five, or the moving in option, or if you want to, you can do all of them. On the next slide, I've put the answers, and this sheet is also up on the website, so you can download it, you can print it off, or you can just use it by looking at it and viewing at it from your tablet or your laptop. Press pause, have a go, and then I'll put the answers onto the next screen. And here are the answers. Thank you, Year 6. That's my first attempt at doing an online lesson. Hope it's been useful. Again, as I said before at the beginning of the lesson, if you have any examples of the learning, email just one example and then I'll be able to write a comment back. Thank you and I hope that's been useful.